don't you all miss watching stuff on 144p? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for VHS 94, the return of the VHS anthology. It's been a little while since we had the last one, which was VHS Viral, which was so bad, it basically buried the series. The first film's okay, it has some interesting ideas. VHS 2 being the pinnacle of the entire series with one of the best stories in the middle. The director of that short actually comes back and does kind of pretty much the best one and the most fucked up one in this one being the subject. And then VHS Viral just being a giant steaming pile of doo-doo. Horror anthology stories are quite fun for me because sometimes you can get really good gems. And if anything, they've been around for quite some time. Scary stories told in the dark, freaky stories. I heard from a friend of a friend of mine. I used to watch this show so much when I was a kid. I'm always drawn to projects like these, whether it's the VHS, the ABCs of Death, or a really good one which I would very much suggest is Neil Blomkamp's Oats Studios. You should definitely check those shorts out. The thing with anthology stories, however, is that they are limited in budget, they're limited in time, and they're limited in scope. And sometimes you can get real good gems, sometimes you can get kind of middle of the roads, and other times you can kind of get right garbage. Now 94 isn't right in the pit of crap, but it is pretty much on the rim because the stories in this are very lacking. There's only four stories. There is the Storm Drain, which is talking about a Rat King thing, which it's not bad, I guess. It's definitely not a rewatchable one. It's definitely kind of a in your ear and out again kind of story. Then you have The Empty Wake, which is really the most boring and it's kind of funny because it's directed and written by Simon Barrett, who was part of the original team that made the whole VHS story anthologies. And then you have The Subject, which is again directed by the same guy who directed Safe Haven from VHS 2. This is definitely the best story, but it is also the most fucked up one. And it definitely dives into the main subject that this entire movie really delves into, which is gore. Super duper duper gore. There is a ton of it in this. So if you're a fan of that kind of horror style, you're definitely gonna have some fun times with it. It's definitely for shock value for a lot of the stories and I feel that it, it gets a bit gratuitous, especially in the subject, but that's kind of where it's going. It's really going as far with what it's trying to do as it possibly can, even if it is kind of bordering on the ludicrous level. And then you have terror following a white power radical group that are a bunch of dumbasses that have a power in their hands that they have absolutely no means of controlling. There is some horror elements into it, but it actually gave me more chuckles than anything else. So in order from best to worst, I would go the subject, terror, storm drain, and empty wake. But the subject is just like up here and the others are bleh. And there's something about a blender or something. I don't know. It's, you blink and you miss it. Overall, the stories are okay, I guess, but it's definitely not on the same level of VHS 2. Kind of just feels like it's a missed opportunity again. I enjoy these ideas. I just wish that they had a little bit more to it. There are a few tropes that happen, especially in terror, where a guy is starting to go up a ladder and then a monster appears and it's like he keeps climbing up the ladder just to have his head bitten off. <laughs> but you're not watching these things for enjoyment level. You're kind of watching them as a very, very guilty pleasure candy. You might enjoy a little bit of it, but you won't feel really good about it afterwards. So in the end, I'm going to give VHS 94 a 2 out of 7. Really just watch the subject, maybe watch the terror, and that's it. The rest of it is very, very not that worth it. Especially the story that's happening around everything else. This doesn't make any goddamn sense, but they never usually do. But I also want to do some shout outs if you guys are interested in a more kind of thorough, in-depth, literary version of a review of this movie. My buddy Mark, who's been on the show several times, has been doing a series called Mark vs. Movies, where he does Instagram posts talking about movies and giving good, short, well-written reviews. So if you guys want to check that out, link in the description below. And then the real big shout out is another October charity stream done once again by Emilio. If you guys remember, I did a shout outs for him last year. Last year was a great success, so he's doing another one this year. And this one is for the First Nations Development Institute. So if you guys want to check that out, a link for that is also in the description below. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.